are some things I will not be able to yes, say just yes. to protect them. Um, but um, so I got born again as a teenager, became pastor at the age of 21. I got married in 1997. Mm. Now, the person I got married to, I was a third husband. Wow. So this information is coming to the public domain for the first time. Because when you said it, I said, ah, this man, one man will bring out all these things. <laughs> <laughs> say, but let's go and see how we can help people. Because when people don't know stories, yes. you know, a lot of people, I just kept quiet. I lost friends. Mm. I lost people. I lost all kinds. Mm. And people didn't know. And God said, keep quiet. I will fight for you. I will vindicate you. I will... Because I'm like, I'm a victim here. Yes. You know, I'm a victim. What's all this? Why? Are you... Why was... And then I realized that all this, uh, when they say wounded soldier, we, we don't know how to take care of wounded soldier. So, At all. So, 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 I met this wonderful, amazing daughter of Zion. And when I met with her, we started up as business partners and friends. And as business partners, I did not know much about a personal level. And then when we came in contact with each other and it was time to get married and I needed to, I proposed to her, so we met. And I, in courtship, and I began to, I said, I come, so who are you? What the, that's when she now told me, okay, I'm actually, I'm not divorced, though, but I'm actually, I said, ah, come, ah, divorced? Ah, you mean you were married before? And she told me her story. First marriage. She got married, and there was no sex, so the marriage was not consummated. Yes. Got married. On getting married, the guy could not perform. And when the guy could not perform, it led to, ah, ah, why can't you perform? Eh, something must be wrong with you, something we I still do last week. So actually, the guy was having something to do with one of our chief bridesmaids and was still getting married to her. And that came out. Of course, it led to a lot of other things. The guy shot her. Said, so bottom line, she came out of that yes. first But all this according to her story. According to her story. Yes. Yeah. So she gets out of that and they go to do what is called a dissolution, dissolution of, marriage. of marriage. I did my investigation. I later met the brother of the guy. I did my investigation. I had to do my due diligence. So... And I collected the certificate. I said, so you get dissolution. I went to lawyer. Which one be dissolution? Yes, what does it mean? I said, no, a marriage that is not consummated, that is, um, it's not even so it was not consummated. So when I, I did my due diligence. Second marriage. They've done the normal, what do you call the traditional Nigeria, whatever. And at that one, I knew about that because I knew that she said she was going abroad to go and get married and all those stuff. And then she came back. Ah, you know, marry again. So they were to get married. And this guy is a pastor in a major denomination here in Nigeria. And the denomination is all this holy denomination. Sure, yeah. So before they could allow the guy, the guy is a pastor, to marry her, they said, look, we must be sure. So they did the investigation, like I was now doing. Mm -hmm. And I went back to that same church again. Yeah. I booked an appointment, took me out to see that Jesus. Say, come, this person said, yes. you are aware of this. And they said, yeah, yeah, that they did that. So I did my due diligence. On, because I don't believe... In all this judgment. So I said, okay, you marry first one, second one. These are none of your faults. It's not as if you did anything wrong. Yeah. So the second one. So let's pause. Hold on. Yeah. So what this means is that, because we're going to get to that towards the end, but mm -hmm. I just want to mention it. If somebody's going to remarry after a divorce or marry a divorcee, there are certain things they need to do, right? Yeah. So we'll get to that. I just wanted to mention that. So at the end, we'll so, address that. Yes. Yeah. So so she she goes there, and the guy is, before she left, she has a business. So before she leaves, the guy said, don't worry, when you come, Will still be doing your business, and then she gets there, and the guy shoots the goalpost. Number one, you have mm -hmm. to shut down your business in Nigeria. Oh. Number two, the, my sister said they went to consult one prophet, and he said you cannot have a child. So since we have done traditional, we need to have you need to get pregnant before we move before ahead. We go ahead to the next level. I said uh -huh. no, I can't do that. So say, and that's how she came back. That's how the second one. So these are the stories. So now, in what way has she done anything wrong? Mm -hmm. That, that God she deserves to suffer. Her, yes. That she deserves to suffer. And not be blessed by a good man like Olubide. Yeah. You understand now? <laughs> so now, so I show up and I hear all these things. And mm -hmm. by virtue of my own experience, by virtue of my journey with God, I knew that. No, it's not that I prayed that I knew. And we, we went ahead um, mm -hmm. and got into the relationship. Mm -hmm. But the very minute the relationship started, I started noticing things. I realized that she was in the prison of her past. I realized that insecurity mm -hmm. was a major issue. I realized that her experience has damaged her mm -hmm. and she was not yet healed, healed from the but trauma. By virtue of the fact that this is my area, I knew what to I do. do. I, I could help her, but she took soccer in religion because she was doing all these prayer points. 
Well, I need to make it public that we actually got married in MFL. So, to let you know the kind of, so I need yeah. to be public. Yeah. I got married to her in MFL. Yeah. The G of MFL is involved you know, in all these things. So, yeah. to understand, so she was prayer, prayer, yeah. 100 prayer points, 200 prayer points. I said, I believe in prayer. But what you need is not prayer that will solve it. Mm. So that becomes like, what do you mean? That, no, we have been around. We have been prayer. This one is not about prayer. You need help. You need help. You need help. And it was like, oh, no, no. so at the point, there are some things she did that I was like, wow. And like you say, don't let your neck suffer for the sin of your ex. ex. I'm like, wow. This is the way, and I said, look, I love you. I believe it's of God. But this one, it can't work out because, you know, I'm the one speaking now. She's not yet to speak for herself, yes. so I don't want to say things yes. that will make it seem as if you are trying to denigrate yes. somebody. But she did something that was like, wow, it was a high level of abuse. And I'm like, what? You mean? Ah, no, I can't take this. That if that's the case, let me just move on with my life and all this. Stuff. All this is before marriage, though. Mm -hmm. Before marriage. Oh, later on, I'm sorry. So went ahead. On wedding day, she walked out of the wedding. Wow. Because see, people don't know all these stories. Well, but I just want to use it to help people. Yeah. It's my story to share. And I'm doing it for the first time openly, globally. Mm -hmm. I don't know why, but I believe it's, maybe it's yes. just God that wants us to. Mm -hmm. So now she walked out of the wedding. There are people that were there. And why did she walk out of the wedding? To see where religion destroys people's life. Mm -hmm. We walk. We didn't do, of course, I've preached it. I don't do reception. I don't do it. It's a waste of money. Yes. Wedding gown and all those yeah. things. We go, uh, so there was a ball. I'm the firstborn of my family. So my parents, I said, you are the firstborn. And my mother would call, oh, mommy, I call her. I say, yeah, oh, I say, mommy, I call her. I get busy. You know, so I can't do what I don't have. Because I have learned a lot of things yeah. by virtue of my own work. Yeah. I've seen the fathers, all these people. Because I was the director of mission for Maurice Aulo from 1992. All the fathers of faith, I was in meetings with them, sitting down as the secretary, typing, mm. and hearing the things that they don't say on the pulpit. Mm. So before I ever got married, I already knew that my children must be born in America. It was already a software inside me. Mm. So I said, look, come on, this one. So that was my own vision, American Peking. So that is, they will get American passports out. Mm. So we don't burn, we don't burn Peking for American since 1990. So yeah, it wasn't, no. we, are, we are the ones that started to come about plan because that was what I saw that many of the fathers were talking behind the scene. So that was my own focus. So when they say, hey, you are the first one, we have to do uh, reception. I said, no problem, you can do, we'll come and visit you people. Yes. That was what we went to do. Mm. And as we were coming in, my mother came out and, hey, our wife, oh, our wife has come. Oh. She just flipped. No, mommy, I'm not your wife. I'm my husband's wife. Upbringing, culture, sure. messages. They are. That that's the way they say, uh, they will now say our wife. You will now become a Yawole, a wife of uh, a compound, and they will now pour water oh, yeah. for you to match on evil water. So my mom said, ah, no, this is Jesus' house. There's no evil water here. No, 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 no. Ah. But I felt like, ah, what's this? Mm. Before people, you are just mm. coming to them. Ah. So when we got this, I said, why are you waiting to do you now? Which evil water? I'll be man of God. You'll be woman of God. This is a Christian. Which one be? Yeah. Our wife is just a Christian. She said, no, 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 no. I don't know. In fact, why are we here? She said, wife said, I don't know. She just turned around. I said, I'm leaving. She didn't spend 10 minutes there. Wedding day. Oh. Wow. <laughs> because people do. And she walked out. Wow. And of course, I said, what's that? I mean, if you leave, you know, means that they do Africa, but if you leave, then, then. my mother came to me and said, You are living here. This is not your house. Oh. Yeah. But your wife has gone. You have to follow your wife. You are a man now. You are married. Wow. Follow your wife. Wow. The people that were there are still alive. That's the marriage. That's the beginning of a marriage. For the next 10 years, it was a combination of all kinds of stuff. All kinds of stuff. And as a young man in my, I was 27 or 28 when I got married, as a young man, there were many things that I began to see. So when people don't understand, wisdom for single, your ministry is born out of your vision. Misery. I was doing amazingly well, campus, and when I saw, I said, hey, you mean you can be so anointed? You can, and then you will still end up in marriage and come and fail and yeah. fail. I need to go and rescue the next generation. Mm. So that I can begin to teach them practical things, things. that church is not talking about. Yes. That's what led to wisdom for six. Mm -hmm. That's why when people started hearing, they're like, who, who did this man? What kind of message? Because yeah. I was dealing with issues, issues. 
If you want to marry a first one, you want to marry a last one, if you want to marry somebody that is dead, I was dealing with real issues. issues that you that was born out of your that was own born out of experiences. Pain. Because look, this woman, see tomorrow, I have not been able to reach a level of prayer. See tomorrow, as a man of God, this woman prays an average of three hours every night, three, four hours. In the nine plus years of that marriage, even in America, even in London, she has never slept from 12 midnight to 5 a.m. before. Never. That level of consistency in prayer. Wow. If I get that one, I'll be greater than the greatest. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, the level of... But upon all that prayer, I, I believe that prayer will change you first. Yes. Before yes. I can. So, but the prayer is die, be destroyed. This is not prayer. These are not... So it was a major, all kinds of things that we cannot go into. And at the end of it all, the abuse was heavy. I can't go into all the details, but the abuse was heavy. Physical abuse, all manner of... It's, it's terrible. And I will say this one. So, in that marriage, if I don't get slapped, <laughs> let me just be on the minimal side. In nine years, maybe like six slap. Now, imagine it. A full-grown man. A like full-grown man. Full grown man. <laughs> <laughs> a full-grown man. Now, let me now tell you this is the overseer of the Dr. Oka is still alive. He's a public team. Mm. At least between us, mm. he's a man of God. He can say the truth. That crisis I was telling you, that before marriage, mm. we're coming from Dr. Lukoya's office. When she went to introduce me to him for the first time, said, this mm. is the person. And there were some things that happened, which I don't want to go yes. into. That when I got there, I expressed those things because I didn't know the man before. Yeah. So when I got there and I saw a crowd, I saw the chair, him, and I did Lagos. I said, ah, you mean say this guy told this Lagos? My normal man of God said, ah, ah, man, this guy did Lagos. This, ah. But when I got there, I saw some of the prayers. While we were waiting, they were praying some prayer. And there was a, a place where they have the gospel of our God. Give me not poverty, uh, give me any control. And they were praying, God, I don't want to prosper. I come against spirit of, uh, I don't want money. I, I said, this is not the interpretation of that scripture. Mm -hmm. My normal Bible self now put me yeah. for trouble. So when we got in, I was expecting, you know, the way you see it, great. when we enter, Dr. Luca, one of the most humble, humblest man of God in this world. Even calls her auntie, auntie, her name, ah, man of God, you're welcome. Ah, ah. I said, ah. Now, first people come see that they greet us like this, so I became relaxed. <laughs> ah, bless you, man of God. We are relaxed. We began to say, so how is everything? Ah. So, as we just said, he asked a lot of questions. I said, hey, man of God, tell your people, that scripture already in the code, no be so. That was my mistake. That scripture, don't be so. And then when we were going also, she was saying that the man may ask, when are you getting married, that we should not say we are fixed it, so that you don't see we fixed it without him. I said, no, no, we are matured now. Now just tell him straight, this is what we are looking at. If he now has an option, we take the option. So when we got there, the guy asked the question, I said, well, we're actually looking at this date, yes, so that but is. you know, you're our father, whatever. Mm. He said, no, 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 whatever you guys are, this is good, it's good, it's good. So when we entered the car on our way, I will never forget, Trem, Anthony, okay, we're in the car. From we left Yaba, where my family used to be there, to that place. She didn't say, what? I'm like, ah, babe, what's happening now? But you're not even talking. Mm -hmm. So when we got to that, Antonio, okay, almost getting to where we drop her in Bagada. She just turned to me. You are so arrogant. All this Bible, Bible, Bible. You think, which Bible do you think you know? Which Bible? You think, I say, ah, but what did I do? Say, I told you somebody is my father. You went there. You are just relaxed. Just open your mouth anyhow. Eh? You are talking about God. Gospel of God. You are quoting scripture. Are you, what church do you have? How many members do you have? He was finishing me. That you got there. This is 40,000 members to your 300 members. You can't even humble yourself. You are quoting scripture. I said, but what did I do? And I told you, don't mention this. Yes. You want to mention this. You know, I said, but realize me, you are talking to like that. Why was it? He said, keep quiet. I will slap you now. That's what she told me. I parked the car. <laughs> I told you, okay. This is good. I park. So I looked at her because all my life, my parents never slapped me. I look at her like this. All the gays believe really you. I said, sorry, repeat what you said now. <laughs> so when I collect the slap, you don't tell me before now. <laughs> I will slap you now. I said, you, you will do what? You will say, yes, I will slap you. What? I said, so 
you can actually slap. You will look at a whole man like you will carry a slap mm -hmm. as you this small. So if I handle you, I go mm -hmm. piss you like this. Yeah. I said, so you, I said, no, 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 this is it. That's, ah. Uh, I said, I've been telling you that you need help. That this manifestation now, do you think this is a Christian behavior? You need help. And I can help you, but this thing, I can't help you to the detriment of myself. Mm. So I got back, and of course, no, no GSM, no, no, so everything handed over, I said, it's over. So I went the next, that was maybe like a Thursday or Friday, so I went after service on a Sunday mm. to go and say, okay, these are all the things, you know, this one that came through this because some things came as a result of, oh, yeah, let's help the man mm. of God. So they brought a lot of, so I said, let me return everything, let me move on with my life. Yeah. That Sunday, I got to, left church, got to the house, and met them. The family, ha, ah, so crying, crying, crying. So immediately I got in, and I just said, he's here, he's here, he's here. Everybody <laughs> jumped up, ha. Ah. So, ah, what's happening what's here? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So I began to cry. What's here? I don't know. Say this is so. The last, of course, no GSM. Mm. Things have gone. They have called family. This one don't go. The one with say miracle don't come. Home. What happened? So when she went to church that Sunday, she met with Dr. Luca. He's alive. That's why I'm putting in the public domain. She went to Dr. Luca. Yeah. So when you, when God, when the Bible says God has sons, these are men of God that I have worked with, that I know that these are real men of God. She went to Dr. Luca. Yeah. After service, that's when I said, this is what happened, this is what happened. And Dr. Luca said, you have made the greatest mistake of your life. That is your husband. That anything you can do to get that man, that if you miss that man, you are gone. That I have been in ministry all my life. That this is the first time that, don't you see the way he was relating with me? Not all this, yes sir, yes sir. All those things she was fighting against was what the man used to validate me. That can't you see that he even saw my people misquoting the scripture and he was telling me to go and correct them. He said, I went to actually do that and I discovered they were wrong. Mm -hmm. And that for him to come and see the magnitude of the work mm -hmm. and still be able to stand for mm -hmm. truth, truth, that tells you the kind of man of integrity and standard and value that he is. He said, and when I asked him, when are you people getting my, he didn't say hey, about the spirit. He went straight to the point. He knew exactly what he wanted. He said, ah, you have gone, you have gone. And doctor prayed with her and said, before the end of tonight, if I be a man of God and God spoke to me that this was my, he will return by himself. He will use his leg to walk back into your house today. And I walked back. So he said, so even though I had that experience, I'm like, that was like, okay, we are Christians. Yeah. Maybe that was, obviously, was one that said, ah, okay, this thing is too real <laughs> for me. And it is upon that. Because people may say, hey, but you saw. Well, that is why I now preach never with a warning signal. These are, because I sat down, because see, many times history repeats itself so, when people refuse to learn from history. Mm -hmm. And in order to learn from history, it's not that you experience it, it's that you document it. it. To do, to, for history not to repeat itself, three things must happen. Number one, what went wrong? Mm -hmm. You must document it, as in paper and barrel, mm -hmm. or tab. What mistakes did I make? Mm. Because I'm not perfect. I made mistakes. Yes. What mistake did I make? Like. I have my own mistakes. So you document it. What lessons have I learned? If you don't answer these three questions, you will repeat the same thing. Wow. These are the processes that lead to him. Wow. So, of course, at the end of the day, many, many. So I needed to bring that one. I don't want to bring the other thing. But I can stand before the old world to say, I am clean by the grace of God. Not because I'm perfect. Mm never lifted a hand. So, so all those things that lead to abuse, I never did one. She did. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I didn't do any because I never abused. I never abandoned. She left the house by herself. Got home one day and the house was empty. She was gone. <laughs> and I called Dr. Luca. the same Dr. Luca. I said, Doctor, I'm at home now. The house is empty. She said, I say yes. Say, okay, hold on. Called and come and say, ah, and, that's how, and that's how we started trying to meet these old fathers of faith, did all yes. kinds of things. And, but I did my part, and that was it. And I realized because, you know, life is lived forward but understood backwards. Mm. Mm. When I was in school, this wisdom thing, God just helped me to just because I've been reading one probably a day since the days of, you know, the 80s. So, it, it, wisdom is my major core. God, give me wisdom, give me wisdom. Mm. When I was in school, one of our lecturers, 
in the late eighties, got divorced. But is this religion divorced? So the woman, the divorce, the woman left. I was mm. in Ilaro. The woman left and moved to Abekota. Mm. And one day, about eight years after the divorce, I got to know that the man had divorced. So I said, ah, so what do you say you have divorced? So I said, what do you mean by divorce? He said, yeah, she left. I said, well, have you gone to court? Have you settled? He said, no, 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 no. As a Christian, I believe you. I said, well, she has remarried and she already has two children. children. Yeah. So what are you still waiting for? Yeah. So I told him that day and it became a controversial issue on campus. I said, sir, I said, you are making a great mistake. I said, let me tell you something. I said, if you don't close that door, mm -hmm. you won't be open to another door. Mm -hmm. I said, you'll be shocked that the day you now want to marry, this woman may show up and you are still married to her. 14 years after that that separation, after three children, two in one, another one child, child. when the man now wanted to marry, Mary. this woman showed up that is his husband. Wow. I was in my church in 1996 when they said someone wanted to see, when he came, my lecturer, he said, I just came to see you. He said, I'm in trouble now. I want to marry now. that woman. That thing where you stuck that time is happening. So when this one happened, wow. I knew. Yes. So I just call my lawyer, look at the laws of Nigeria, look at everything, call every family member. Let them, so I waited once everything, I just say bye-bye. So it was good for me because I freed myself. So I'm the one that filed for divorce. Okay, but wait, wait, before you <laughs> before you filed for divorce, you you guys had sessions with Dr. Lukoya. Dr. Lukoya, Bishop Oyedeko. So, so, so it wasn't a flippant, it wasn't just no, a careless... My family went to the family, they returned down. They said, did you come to pick your daddy? Locked my parents out, sent them back home. They got to Lagos around three years. It's, it's messy. Brother is a pastor. I sat down with everybody. He said, look... Because it's important to say this, because the, people think it's just... So let me just say this, because mm -hmm. you see. Because, you see, as a pastor, um, I, I stand to be corrected, but you see... I, I like to be, I apply wisdom in a lot of things that I do. Mm -hmm. And the major reason is that I had to protect myself. So when the whole thing had come to a point where I knew that this thing, no, no. I now started to record conversations for every day. Because I knew that the church would crucify me. Yes. Every, the narrative is that, oh, he leave his wife, he married yes. that's the, I knew that the narrative would become my yeah. portion. I knew. I already knew the way the church works. So I needed to protect myself so that serious-minded people yes. that are really interested, if they come to say, I say, look, this is the truth. This is it. So I did those. So what they were now saying is that if you claim that you want restoration, first delete this thing first. <laughs> they will come in. I said, no, I know God. That's the mistake. I, that's the sin that everybody has against me. That, yeah. I, so you will say, I said, no, if there is restoration, then. Yes, you do. Not that to cause removal. I can't remove the thing upon which I'm standing that is my, that when my children show up tomorrow, yes. I can say, look, you are not too young to read. read yeah. this, this video, this audio, to show that I didn't do anything. So those are, so we did everything we needed to do. Did everything we needed to do. Yeah, because important people just, people might just think, oh, uh, uh, you just walk out, you, any, any small issue you walk 1990, out? In so the marriage ended uh, uh, 2005. Mm -hmm. From 2005, it was evident. She packed out in June 2006. And, and that was it. So um, it's just, it's a painful. Ah, man, I cried though. Mm. Get back home. Even freezer empty. You know those kind of things. Library, <laughs> where books they you just meet empty shelf. People don't know the pain of the boss. At a point, my brother, I've been driving. I've never had accident until that time. I go to drive for Lagos. You know, getting born again as a teenager. Yes. All my life has been a Christian. Yes. Wisdom for singles. You people all over the world know you for relationship. The thing where you can't claim, saying I ain't God call you to do. Yeah, that's where you're Now you know, come and say, ah, yeah. And I'll be driving like this. And I'll just be crying. I won't know. It is when I will hit somebody. Wow. That no, I hit the one. I just hear boom. That's when I woke up to say, ah, what's up to you? You what's up to you? I go just wonder. They will see me crying. Oh, sorry, 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 Mr. Man. Take care of yourself. Whatever you are going through, they go go. At that point, now my friends, somebody, Mr. Sam say, oh, you will just die. They will say you have. You better go and get a driver. I say I'm not a do driver. That's how to get. I say any time I want to just be driving me. I had to go for my own therapy. I had to go wow. through my own healing process. Mm. It's not easy. Do you know what it is? There were times because I love cooking. I cook. I take my children to school. I do school run. I do homework. I'm a hands-on dad. Do you understand? And to now come home, nobody's there. You're all alone. 
There are times that I will cook two dirikas of rice, and I'm the only one at home. Wow. So all this divorce, you better don't enter divorce. It's not something you so, should so, be. So, so, let's, so let's, I will cook two dirikas yeah, of rice. Right. Yes. I go don't cook, finish. Serve four plates. Put for table. Wow. Only to discover, so look, then you are the only one in this house. house. Man of God, though, with mental health issues. <laughs> <laughs> so what we are talking now, no be today, the boldness, the audacity with which I can finish you is to say, come out of that foolishness. Don't let church kill you. Don't let religion kill you with all this hypocrisy. I go serve food for four people. There is spirit. <laughs> there is spirit. <laughs> serve food for four people. Mm. One day, my daughter was eight years old and came and said, Daddy, don't mind mommy. She doesn't know what she's doing. Let's keep praying for her. The same daughter I have not seen since tomorrow. If I see my daughter on the road now, I probably will mm. not recognize her. If I see my so now people don't understand the pain yes. of Div divorce. Yes, that's what I, I have was two talking children about. That I labor, that American labor, labor. to so pass for that. They did now. Imagine now, I can't see them. I don't know where they are. So I'm now a bad right. man. Because many times women don't know the destruction they give to the children. Every effort, everything is, is painful. So even today, now people say, ah, the children. Now, fine, I will talk now. Yeah, but if you, you say, so which school are they going to now? No, I can't no. answer that question. That is the stigma and the scar I'm still bearing to today. So, so I have a 10-year-old boy now. So I remind you seven years later. Mm -hmm. We have a boy now. He's 10 years old. And this boy, I have to be... So the pictures of the two ones are there. And the boy will say, ah, where's my brother and my sister? You say, I'm the third born. When he was four, he came. The wife said, you're picking on the ask question. I said, no, we have to tell him the truth. He went to the boy and said, mommy, I am your only child. But they said, daddy has three children. Daddy said I have brother and sister. Where are my brothers? I've never seen them in this house. And my wife will say, oh, they, they are coming. We are praying they are coming. They are in America. Look at all those kind of stress that you are going through. The boy will now come. Now imagine that the picture that is on the wall was picture of eight and six when he was born. He is ten now. He has become bigger than the picture on the wall. And a girl of 25 and boy of 23 and you are now 10, you are bigger than them, and they are supposed to be your senior. How do you think that deals with a small 10-year-old so boy? Yeah. The, the divorce we, is a generational thing. Mm. The scar, my, my son now is facing that. That's... People don't know that. So I'm around now doing the will of God, but I have not seen my two children, my first fruit, my daughter and my son, I have not seen them now for yet. Why? Because I will show you. I will show you. Yes. I will show you. I will make them hate you. I will wipe your memory from their mind. I will do all kinds of things that you have gone through. And people don't know how to start. Every effort, every effort at the point for my own mental health. I said, God, yeah, just relax. I cast my body onto you. I hand over to you. We were in America. We were all in America yes. together. And we came back. And my son came and said, Dad, I don't understand that. I don't think I like my brother and my sister anymore. I said, what? He said, ah, we spent one month in America. They couldn't even come to see me. That we didn't see them. How do you keep explaining that? So do you know that till today, some people will see me. And be asking for how is yeah. asking for my ex. Well, yes. They don't know anything has happened. These are the things you have to go through. You have to face. So don't jump into divorce as if it's one. Yes, it's because an the way easy. people are people are destroying the family value. They are making light of marriage. No, marriage is of God. Marriage is beautiful. Yes. Marriage should not be toyed with. That's what yes. we are here talking about. But we are saying don't let religion lead you into something that God did not say. Divorce is not the same. Remarriage is not the same. And that's why we're trying to help you understand that. So there are stigmas. There are things you have to face in order to be able to... You know, I, I wrote, I've written books. So how do you write books? It took almost about five to six years. You know, my books are all over the world to replace books yes. with another name, name, another profile. Even last year, I went to somewhere... And the person said, Pastor, you have some books here. I said, I books here. You know when you came the last time? Uh, you left it that because of extra luggage. There are two small, small uh, bags here. When they brought it out, I said, Papa, just share it in your country. Share it. Give it, give it out. Because how do you bring, after 17 years of bringing a book with another person's name? It's, it's, it's messy. It's messy. I'm a pastor. People will come to church now. I'm pastor in the church. I have a son. And they say, Pastor has three children. And people will come to church and pastor is there with one child and a wife. And people will be looking and say, okay, where is this man or that children now? And then they will say, ah, the man, ah, first speaking at 20 something, ah, this woman don't be like first born 20 something. Yeah. So you see, so every year, you're, ah, in 1997, no, 1998, uh, in 2008, because after everything was done, I knew that it's time to come public to the church. In 2008, we have our annual camp meeting every November. 
In 2008, we we're all crying. I gathered all the pastors in the company mm. and I said, guys, we have done everything. You guys know the truth, you know everything, but I cannot allow my personal life to become your cross. Mm. You guys have been with me all my life, but this is my cross to bear. January 2009, mm. I'm going to announce to the church because it's over. Divorce, everything, I, I fight for divorce. I'm go, there's no going back now. I'm going to announce. And once I announce, church may scatter. I'm ready to start all over again. God has assured me mm. that because, because when the OTR, ah, I get recording, my brother, recording, dangerous recording that, ah, I get recording. <laughs> I was ready because in those days, the city people, do you know city people is my cousin? My own cousin. <laughs> the guy, they go carry news and come me on. You know, they go carry. Yeah. I will be reading news about, oh, there's a pastor, he does singles ministry. I'll be wondering, say, which pastor? This one? Yeah, I don't know. Hey, he has a church <laughs> and then he, he took the wife's money, built a church and abandoned the wife wow. and married the secretary. His church is in the Dimu area. I said, ah, <laughs> this, which, I never marry you. I did yeah, I don't do anything. We will hear stories, pastors, people I bought land before. In this Lagos, by the grace of God, I have paid for land for not less than 14 churches. Musical equipment, drum, keyboard, everybody, because everybody wants to save their ministry. Yeah, yeah, they will run. People that every year I'm training them, preaching for them, everybody just disappear. As far as they are concerned, you don't finish. Mm -hmm. So I said, God, I cannot. Let me tell people, let me do press conference, let me release the audio, mm -hmm. let me release with God, this pain is too much, I can't do this, I've lived for you, I've been living in integrity, I'm a victim here. Yeah. And I'm a Bible person. And every time I go back to the Bible, I say, and Joseph thought in his mind to put her away privately. privately.